Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are just going to implement some callbacks that we need for our service, or for our Excel player rather. On the one hand, that will be a playback preparer. So that will just be a class that provides functions for us that will be called for specific um, preparation events. So when our player is prepared and ready to play, then we will implement a player event listener. That is also a class that just listens to some specific player events. And then we will write the actual functionality to prepare our player so that it is ready to play. I want to start with this playback prepare I talked about. We will go into our Excel player package into this callbacks package. And here I'm going to create a new cotton follow class called music playback preparer. And we select class here. This will take two parameters in the constructor. On the one hand, our Firebase music source, because we need access to that in this class. So private val Firebase music source, which is of type Firebase music source. And as a second parameter, that will be a Lambda function that will just be called once our player is prepared so we can respond to that from within our music service. So a private val player prepared, which is a Lambda function that takes a media metadata compat object that is nullable and it returns nothing, so a unit. So what we will do is once that player is prepared, we will call this function here from within this class and we just pass the media metadata compat object. So the metadata of the currently playing song or the song that should be played once the user wants that. So we can actually deal with that in our music service class. And this class will inherit from music, no, media session connector dot playback preparer and then we have to implement some functions here actually quite a lot but we don't need all of those but sadly that is an interface here so we need to implement all of those but we can leave most of those empty so we can just set this on command function here to false we can leave this on prepare function empty so we can just set that equal to a unit um, we will need this function. We won't need on prepare from search. So search could, for example, just be uh, this. I don't know how it's actually called this Google voice that you can just um, say something like, hey, play this song in this app. And then it will respond to that in this on prepare from search function. But we won't implement this here. That would be too much for this tutorial. And on prepare from Yuri is also not needed here. So we can also set that equal to unit. Okay, let's start with this get supported prepare actions function. What do we need to return here? Well, that is a long and that is kind of a flag. So we just need to return the type of actions that we actually support in our player. And that is also not much here. We just want to return playback state compat dot action prepare from media ID. So we always want to be able to just prepare a specific song with its media ID. That's also why we have all those media IDs here, for example, in our song class. So media ID is just used to select a specific song. And since that is unique, we always can be sure that there is only one song with that media ID. And we want to be able to prepare a song with that media ID and we want to be able to play a song from its media ID. And since that is a long here and kind of a flag, we need to attach this or parameter here and just specify our second supported action here. So playback state compat again, action play from media ID. Like this. Okay, next to our on prepare from media ID function in which we will actually prepare the specific song the user selected to play it afterwards. And I will actually make a little space here like this. And here it now becomes very important that we have written this when ready function in our Firebase music source. This function here will now be important because now we want to check if our Firebase music source, when that is ready, then we want to prepare it. Because before that 
there is no reason to prepare it. We don't even have a real music source yet because the songs are not loaded from Firebase at that specific moment. So you can see we get the media ID here that the user wants to prepare or play actually. We get play when ready. So once this is ready, do we actually want to directly play it or just wait until the user starts it and some extras that we don't need here. So what we want to do is we first want to get the actual item to play as a media metadata compat object. And since in our Firebase music source, we have this list here, this songs list, which is a list of media metadata compat. So later on, after we fetched our media data, we know that our songs list contains all those songs here. So all those media metadata compat objects. And we now just need to find the corresponding object with that media ID in that list. So what we'll do is we will create a val item to play and we set that equal to Firebase music source dot songs dot find. And now we can specify some logic according to which we want to find that object and we want to find it according to its media ID. So find if the media ID we got here in this function if that is equal to it dot media id or actually it dot what do we have with description dot media id like this so that will just be the song that the user chose and now wants to play so what we'll do is we'll just call our lambda function player prepared and pass that item so we have access to the chosen song in our music service class afterwards Okay, next we want to create that music player event list I talked about to just check for um, when the playback state changes. So for example, when the player is paused, we also do that in the callbacks package, new Kotlin follow class called music player event listener and select class here. And that will just take a private val music service as a parameter. We just need access to the music service because we want to be able to stop the foreground service from within this listener. And we set that equal to, or actually inherit from, player dot event listener. And that is luckily a listener that has optional implementations. So if you press Control O, you can see we get quite a lot of functions here that we could implement, but we only need two of those. And we want on player error and we want on player state changed. Those two functions, press OK. And let's start with on player error. That is the easier function. Actually, both are easy. Here we just want to show a toast. You could do some error handling here according to which error occurred, but I'll leave that up to you just for simplicity i'll just show toast here toast.make text music service dot actually not dot just music service for the context for the text i just write an unknown error occurred so for example if the user does not have internet connection to stream the songs and the duration is toast dot length long and we call that show and in on player state changed, you can see on the one hand, we get play when ready as a boolean. So if we should just play the song once it is ready and the playback state we changed to. So we can check if the playback state is equal to player dot state ready. So if everything is ready and prepared and play when ready is false. So in that case, if the player is ready, but we shouldn't play it automatically we want to stop our foreground service so music service dot stop foreground but we want to keep the notification okay and now we can go back to our music service and first i want to create a variable here that just refers to the currently playing song so private var current playing song and we set that to null. So that is actually a media metadata compat object that is nullable and we set it to null. And then in our onCreate function, we want to create our playback preparer. So let's do that right here. Um, well, music playback preparer which is equal to new music playback preparer 
which takes the Firebase music source, which we don't have yet in here. So let's quickly inject that actually. Scroll up here and use inject late init var Firebase music source, which is of type Firebase music source. It's that easy actually. Then if we scroll down again, we can now pass that as a parameter here, Firebase music source, and we need to pass this Lambda block in which we just get uh, the current media metadata combat object after the player is prepared. So this Lambda block will now be called every time the player chose a new song. So what we want to do is we want to set our current playing song equal to it. And we want to prepare our actual Excel player. And we don't have the function for that yet. So let's quickly write that down here. Private function prepare player and what will that take it will take a list of songs so the playlist basically which is a list of type media metadata compat it will take the item to play so the current song that we want to play which is of type media metadata oops media metadata compat but nullable this time and we want to specify a boolean play now so if we want to directly play this once it is ready or not. And this won't have any return value. And in this function, we can just prepare our actual EXO player. First, we want to get the current index of the song we picked. So the index of the song in our playlist, and that is val current song index. We set that equal to if the current playing song is equal to null, so if we didn't ch explicitly chose any song, then we just want to play the first one. And else, we just want to find the index of our item to play in our songs list. So songs.index of item to play. So we just check if the currently playing song is equal to null. If it is, then we just play the first song or we prepare the first song. And usually that won't be equal to null. So in that case, we just prepare this item to play. So we get the index of this item to play in our songs list and save that in our current song index. And now we can use our Excel player and call dot prepare on that one. And now you can see we need a media source. And for that, we actually wrote a function in our Firebase music source this as media source function here that just converts this list to a media source so that our exo player can deal with that so exo player prepare firebase music source dot as media source and we pass our data source factory here it's that easy and then we want to make sure that every song just plays from the beginning on so we use exo player dot seek to and that will take uh, the window index, which is just the index of our song in our list, which is current song index. So that's why we made that. So that will just not only seek to a specific position in our song, but also just seek to this specific index in our list. So it will start to play that song. And as a second parameter, we just pass 0L. So we want to start from the beginning on. And then finally, we set exoplayer.play when ready equal to play now. So if we directly want to play that song, once it is ready, we pass true for that. And else if we want the user to play it, then we pass false for that. Because usually we will pass false for the first time because we don't want that once our app is open, the song starts playing. Instead, we want the user to start the song. But when we when the user clicks on a song, then we have to set this to true. So it directly starts playing. So now we can scroll up again in this callback here from our music playback preparer. And here we just call prepare player with our Firebase music source dot songs. We want to play the currently playing song. So actually just it here. That's the item the user chose. And we want to play it now in that case if he clicked on it. And uh, that's it for this callback here. We actually also need to assign this music playback preparer and also our player listener here to our other stuff here. So first of all, we use this, oh, this media session connector here. So we need to do that below. So media session connector dot set playback preparer and we pass our music playback preparer. 
and we want to use our exo player and add a an listener and that will be our music player event listener which just needs our service so this and i think yeah we also want to show our actual notification we forgot that in the previous video <laughs> actually i forgot that so our music notification manager here we have the function in that so let's quickly open that this function here to show the notification we also need to call that otherwise it won't show once we open our app or once we play a song so let's also do that below here music notification manager dot show notification and we pass our exo player for the player okay but that's it for this video i hope you liked it and in the next video we are actually going to finish off our service so we have those two functions missing here on get root on load children uh, that all let you errors all the time here because we haven't implemented them we will do that in the next video and also small other stuff and then we are actually ready to jump to the next layer of our app so to implement the music service connection between our view model and our service here and just yeah propagate this information we have here about the currently playing song and all that stuff to our view model and from our view model to our fragments or activities Thank you for watching this far. Because of that, I want to give you a 15% coupon code for all my premium courses on my website. Just use the coupon code Spotify underscore gang and you will just get 15% discount in the cart. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment below what you think about this and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a very nice day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.